A couple years ago, somebody showed up at my door who knew that I was a falconer. They had a box, and in this box was an American kestrel, and he'd been locked in an attic. It was severely dehydrated, in terrible shape. So I called the Game and Fish and said, hey, what do we do with this? How, where do I take this bird? And I said, there was nothing they could do, and that the nearest facility was over 200 miles away. I realized that we needed to do something here because in Wyoming we don't have a lot of rehabilitators. It's kind of bad news for the birds. A lot of times there's nobody we can take birds to and unfortunately we just end up dispatching them, you know, humanely of course. So we do have a need all around the state for raptor rehabilitators and folks that know what they're doing and can give these birds a second or third or whatever chance. What I decided to do was form Wind River Raptors, a nonprofit organization with the intent on rescuing injured and orphaned birds of prey, and by educating the public about the incredible resources that we have right around us, and by conserving our natural habitat for future generations. This isn't gonna be an easy project. There are a lot of obstacles in which we still have to overcome before we can start taking in injured and orphaned birds. There is a pretty involved process for a rehabilitation center to come online, at least through the state. We have several different required permits based on what the center wants to accomplish. Chapter 10 permits for handling live wildlife. There's chapter 33 permits for educational purposes. We have a chapter, I think it's 46, for having a facility where you keep live wildlife. There's, they're gonna wanna feed the animals, so they're gonna need permits for that food-based prey species. I guess the point of it is that there is a lot of permitting that goes on and all that permitting needs to be complete before an entity wants to undergo business. Right now, Wind River Raptors has obtained a number of our appropriate licensing. We have a good working relationship with both state and federal agencies. We expect our remaining licenses to come in in the very near future. We have had a huge breakthrough in which a local family has donated an ideal location for Wind River Raptors. We now have 12,000 square feet for our daily operations and an arena which can be converted into a flight chamber. This is our flight chamber. It's a bit of a work in progress. We still have some cars in the background that need to be moved and we've got some other work to go on, but our overall space, our square footage is definitely large enough to allow a bird to fly continually around here in a loop or a circle. So this is Artemis, one of our educational birds. Behind me is a horse stall that we have converted into a muse for her. In order to house additional educational birds, we actually need to build six more like this. That includes rafters, netting, flooring, perches. There's a lot that goes into one of these. Having an organization like this around will, will benefit us in that us field folks, the ones that take injured bird calls, at least have another option of, uh, of a place that we can take a bird to give it another chance. So having a, a, a raptor center, a raptor facility that can rehabilitate these birds is a big deal. Being able to hand over a raptor for someone who knows how to care for them and hopefully put them back onto the landscape and to have a solution that's not, that's not euthanization. In the state of Wyoming, right now, we, along with Ironside Bird Rescue, based in Cody, Wyoming, have been providing the majority of services for injured, ill, and orphaned birds of prey throughout the state. Teton Raptor Center is excited to see another raptor rehabilitation and education entity come onto the scene. There is a need, and it will be really valuable to have competent resource down there to provide the care and do it more quickly. We're really excited about this project. What we still lack are the resources to get this off the ground. Look at the information below. Find out how you can help. Become part of what we're doing.